Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'll call to the Dawson County Board of Commissioners voting session Thursday, August 20th, 2020 to order. We'll start out with a roll call. And you can see that we're all here. I'll ask everyone to please stand for brief invocation and pledge. You would bow your heads, please. Our dear gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for this another day and for the many blessings of life. We ask for knowledge and wisdom to carry out the business of this great county. Any accomplishments will give you the honor and glory. In Christ's name, we do ask and pray. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Are there any announcements? Any announcements? We'll move on to the approval of the minutes. First up, we have the minutes of the special call meeting held on August the 6th, 2020. Any additions or deletions? Motions. Make a motion to approve the minutes as presented. Motion by Commissioner Gaines, seconded by Commissioner Nix. Discussion? Hearing none, please vote. Those are approved 4-0. Next up, we have the minutes of the work session held on August 6, 2020. Any additions or deletions? Motions. Motion to approve. Motion by Commissioner Satterfield. Second. Seconded by Commissioner Fawcett. Discussion? Hearing none, please vote. And those are approved 4-0. Next up, we have minutes of the voting session held on August 6, 2020. Any additions or deletions? Motions. So moved. Motion by Commissioner Fawcett, seconded by Commissioner Nix. Discussion? Hearing none, please vote. And those are approved 4-0. Next up, we have the approval of the agenda. I do have some changes to the agenda. First, the addition of under, will be number four under new business, the DHS, Deanna Specialty uh, MOU and Contract. Addition of number five under new business, uh, move to public hearing for the CIE update and addition of number six under new business, resolution of acceptance of CARES Act funding for Dawson County. I'll entertain a motion with those changes to the agenda. Make a motion we approve the amended agenda as presented. Commissioner, motion by Commissioner Gaines. Second. Seconded by Commissioner Fawcett. Discussion. Hearing none, please vote. And the agenda is approved with those uh, three changes. No one signed up for public comment in this section? No, sir. We'll move on to zonings. First, I'll go over the rules that we will use in our zoning uh, tonight. The planning director will present the application recommendation of the planning commission. Then we will hear from the applicant then I'll open the hearing. We'll hear from those who are in favor of the application. Then we'll hear from those who are opposed to the application. Each person willing, wishing to speak will be allotted three minutes per our zoning guidelines. Anyone who speaks will need to sign in and give us your name and address. Anyone who has, also, if you've donated $250 or more to any candidate, you will need to fill out a form stating so, which our clerk, Ms. Kristen, has with her. So we will start out with ZA 20-02. Paul Beerman requests to rezone five acres of property located at Highway 53 East, tax map parcel 094-136 from CCB Commercial Community Business to RSR Residential Sub Rule. Jameson. So Dr. Beerman is looking is seeking to rezone his five acre property that he and two associates purchased in 1996 from CCB to RSR. When the property was pur purchased, they had the intentions of building uh, some medical slash dental offices. Unfortunately, that did not come to fruition and he has, uh, he has had the property for sale for several years with no luck. He is seeking to revert the property back to the residential zoning in hopes of selling it. 
uh, Dr. Beerman came in uh, and met with staff a couple months ago to discuss the options that would best fit the rezoning for the property back, rezoning it back to residential. The surrounding properties are pretty much RSR and the comp plan calls out for RSR. So that is the direction that we, we the planning staff led him in. The planning, this was heard before the planning commission on July 21st with a, a recommendation of unanimous approval of the request. I'll entertain any questions. Questions for James. Oh, Jameson, when people come in asking for rezonings like this, do you, you tell them what they can do, but you, do you also tell them the prohibitive uses? Yes, ma'am. So they are, they're aware of that. We, we try to go through, especially if they're sitting in the office, we try to go through anything that's, if it's prohibited and, and, uh, and let them know exactly what they're trying to, we, we try to understand what their goals are and then we try yes. to lead them in the direction to accomplish those goals. Yeah. Sometimes I think they, they just, it's what they want to do, but they don't understand that if they rezone, then they, there's something else they can't do. Mm -hmm. So I'm just curious if you discuss that with people. Other questions for James? Thanks, sir. We may have some more later. Is the applicant present? Come on up. Tell us what you would like to do. <laughs> Ditto. Ditto. Full story, just fine. Should I sign in? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Does she put her address as well? Yeah. No, he ba he basically told the whole story, but. Um, it, oh, I'm Bye Carol Beerman. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, the The property has been for sale for about six years as a commercial property, and it didn't sell. So the real estate agent that we hired this time suggested that we do this, and maybe it would sell this time. So that's just basically it. Any questions? Questions for the applicant? You've got um, water there, but no sewer. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay. Other questions for that? Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. At this time, I'll open this here. And is there anyone here to speak in favor of the application? Anyone here to speak in favor of the application? Okay, anyone here to speak in opposition to the application? Anyone here to speak in opposition to the application? Seeing none, I'll close that hearing. What's the pleasure of the board? Motion to approve. Motion by Commissioner Nix to approve. Second. Seconded by Commissioner Gaines. Discussion. Now, is, is, is this property surrounded by the RSR? Yes. I know I could look, but is it? Is, yes. And this, this is, you know, just seems like to me this commercial was just out of whack. How did that happen? Probably back in the day. Back in the day, they, they wanted to build, other, like she said, other <coughs> medical buildings. Medical facilities. Dennis and office, stuff. medical buildings, stuff like that around it. Yeah, but not to, but that was still zoning. Okay. It just, when I read all of it, it just seemed like it was just out of place or something. So I didn't know what it had. Okay. I think if you look back then, obviously 400 wasn't developed like it was. So you had something called commercial crossroads, which is where two primary intersections meet where you historically saw the majority of your commercial was at those crossroads. But the times have changed obviously in our community. So. And their request meets the future land use. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, so I have a motion and a second for approval. Any further discussion? Hearing none, please vote. And that rezoning is approved 4-0. Next up, we have ZA 20-03. Derek Perry requests to rezone 7.48 acres of property located at Big Savannah Road, Tax Mount Parcel 
111-105 from RSR residential sub rule to RA residential agriculture. James. Thank you, Chairman. Apologize. Uh, ZA 20-03. Uh, Derek Perry is seeking to downzone his property from RSR to RA for the purpose of building a caretaker's cottage for his daughter and granddaughter to move into so they can assist in caring for he and his wife, wife as, the, as they age. Mr. Perry purchased the property in 1989 and has lived there since. Uh, the property is located on Big Savannah Road, which is right off of Etowah River Road. Um, it's surrounded by RSR and RA, and it backs up to the Etowah River itself. Uh, the, the Planning Commission also recommended uh, unanimous approval of this rezoning request. I'll entertain you. I won't ask you what, and, and you know I love RA. I'm not, I mean, I love, I love something like this, but what, what, why could he not have done this in RSR? So in RSR, you can only have one principal residence. In RA, you can have two principal residences, one being a, a caretaker for Okay, the, so he's al there's already a house there. There's already a house there, yes, ma'am. Okay. But in RSR, he couldn't do that. No, ma'am. Okay. In, in RA, you can build a caretaker home. <laughs> in R yes, yes, sir. To clarify that, not without splitting the property, <clears throat> In RSR, it could have been that many acres, you could have split an acre and a half long. Yeah, you could have had much more density in RSR, but this is Yeah, not I know splitting. this is less yeah. intensive, but mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, I love something that wants to go to RA. Boy, you're singing my song. <laughs> is the applicant present? Come on up, sir, and tell us what you'd like to do. Good evening. Uh, yes, my, um, my name is Derek Perry. I live on Big Savannah Road. I've lived there 32 years, as of most of the people on that road. We all know each other. And my daughter very much wants to stay on that road. Um, she's going to college full-time. She's carrying a full-time job. Um, she's got a five-month-old. We have a five-month-old granddaughter. We've, we've kept the footprint as small as we can. I think there's only two trees involved. Um, if you were out there, you'd see that most of the land has been kept natural as possible. Um, and basically we're asking for approval to build. The footprint is, um, it's a slab on grade, no basement. It's kept to a minimum size. That's it. Questions of the app. Thank you, sir. Thank you. At this time, I'll open this hearing. There's anyone here to speak in favor of the application? Anyone here to speak in favor of the application? Anyone here to speak in opposition to the application? Anyone here to speak in opposition to the application? Seeing none, I'll close it here. And what's the pleasure of the board? Motion to approve. Motion by Commissioner Fawcett to approve. Second. Seconded by Commissioner Satterfield, discussion. Hearing none, please vote. And that rezoning is approved 4-0. Next up, we have ZA 20-04, Ronald Jones request to rezone two acres of property located at 1710 Hauser Mill Road, Tax Mount Parcel, 082-030-001 from RA Residential Agriculture to RSR Residential Sub Rule. James. Once again, thank you, Chairman. Uh, as you said, Mr. Jones is seeking to rezone two acres, which is a portion of uh, parcel 082-030-001. Uh, this would leave nine acres 
of the property property that is to be absorbed by Mr. Jones, Jones's son-in-law. The property is located on Hauser Mill Road. Uh, Mr. Jones acquired this property in 2016. He built his primary residence on this portion that he's looking to rezone. And it is surrounded by RA, RSR, and, and the city of Dawsonville is very close in that area. Um, rezoning this, the property to RSR would kind of fit into the general area, character of this area. Uh, and the planning commission also unanimously voted to approve this, this request. Recommend approval. Question for James. Under this, is there, um, <clears throat> was, my understanding was there was a desire to build one more unit on the total acreage. Is it limited to one more unit so it can't be split up further? So what we were looking at doing is just rezoning the acreage that he was intending on um, subdividing out in it's it's just the two, two acres. acres. Yes. Just okay. So theoretically, yes, on the rest of the nine acres, another house could. He would have continue. to come back before us, though, for that approval or, or disapproval. <clears throat> yes. So, yeah. So I'm sorry. Five acres, correct? Well, the rest of the acres would be nine acres. So, yeah, there could be a, a, another home on that on that nine acres. And NRA. then I thought he was putting that with 14 more acres. The intention, uh, maybe the applicant can speak better oh, okay. to answer that. But I, I believe the intention was to kind of absorb that into there's a 14 acre track right next to it owned um, by a family member. And that was looking to be really absorbed into the, that 14 acres. Is the applicant present? Come on up, tell us what you'd like to do. Give us your name and your address. Ronald Jones, 1710 Hauser Mill Road. Uh, we are just wanting to, my wife had passed away when I had had all this property and I'm now having to refinance the house and I only wanted to finance the two acres with the home and the other nine acres will go to my son-in-law, which we already have 14 other acres there. And uh, they're only out of 20, 23 or 24 more acres. They're only talking building one or two more houses, but mine, mine sits off on, completely off on the road a, a, a long way. I got a 700 foot driveway. Uh, so it doesn't affect anyone. I'm surrounded all the way around by Stowers and then 1800 acres of, of KK Turner family land. Uh, and, and there is a probably 60 or 70 foot buffer or better all the way down the edge of my property on the roadside. So it really appears there's, there's five more acres than there really is, but uh, that's just the thing. It, it's just due to a family death and, and just trying to move forward with some stuff. I, I, I don't need the land. I kind of figured it out in life. You don't, you don't need as much as you think you do. And you, and you grow to not even want as much as you think you do. Is, is, is some of that in conservation? Is that some of your sons? Y yes, sir. Yes, sir. So that would be going in conservation. Yes, sir. It, it, it'll all be one kind. Yes, sir. So it, it's, that's going. The rest is going to stay residential agriculture. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Other questions for the applicant? Thank you, sir. This time I'll open up this hearing. Is there anyone here who wishes to speak in favor of the application? Anyone here who wishes to speak in favor of the application? Anyone here who wishes to speak in opposition to the application? Anyone here who wishes to speak in opposition to the application? Seeing none, I'll close that hearing. What's the pleasure of the board? Make a motion to approve ZA 20-04. Motion to approve by Commissioner Satterfield. Second. Seconded by Commissioner Fawcett. Discussion. 
Hearing none, please vote. And that rezoning is approved 4-0. Next up, we'll move into new business. First up, we have consideration of information technology exemption requests for ambulance transport billing software and electronic patient care reporting software that was presented to you a couple of weeks ago by Melissa and Chief Thompson. This basically makes their operation more seamless and uh, allows them to do the things that they need to do and makes transfer of information for building a whole lot better as well. Any other information needed? My comment. Go ahead. Chairman. I just want to thank the chief and his staff. Uh, we got the audit report, which was good news. Collections were up 22% and how much money they're bringing in. And if this helps it get a little bit better, be some more money coming in. So <laughs> keep it coming in. <laughs> Are you wanting people to keep getting sick? No, I'll just pay the bills. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Do I have a motion? Motion to approve. Motion by <coughs> Commissioner Nix. Second. Second. Second by Commissioner Satterfield. Discussion. Hearing none, please vote. And that's approved 4-0. Next up, we have consideration of naming the new pavilion at <coughs> Veterans Memorial Park. The recommendation from Matt and the Park and Rec staff was to leave it as the Bowen Pavilion, which is what the old pavilion was, the family it was named after who donated the land uh, where the old one sat as well as where the new one is sitting. So any other information needed? Motion. Motion to approve. Naming it after the Bowen, Bowen family. family. Oh, yes. yes, they donated the land. As presented. Land. Uh, yes. So okay. motion by Commissioner Fawcett. Second. Seconded by Commissioner Gaines. Discussion. Hearing none, please vote. And that is approved 4-0. Next up, we have consideration to move forward with a public hearing for 911 ordinance update. That was presented to you by Jameson. Any other information needed? Motion. Make a motion to approve to move forward with the 911 ordinance update public hearing. Motion by Commissioner Gaines. Second. Seconded by Commissioner Fawcett. Discussion. Is that to be, what's the date that that public we hearing? We have the dates for that. It will be September 3rd. <coughs> Is there one needed? Is that correct? September 3rd. Thank you. Other discussion. Hearing none, please vote. And that's approved 4-0. We're going to item number four under new business, the, the Deanna specialty MOU and contract that was presented tonight by Dawn. This is a $65,000 worth of revenue at no cost with the potential to get even more if other counties don't spend theirs. <laughs> Any other information needed? Motion. Motion approved. Motion by Commissioner Satterfield. Second. Seconded by Commissioner Gaines. Discussion. Hearing none, please vote. And that is approved 4-0. Move on to number five under new business. Uh, we're going to be talking to move to public hearing for the annual CIE update that Jameson gave you uh, earlier. Any other information needed? Motion. Motion to move forward with the public hearings for the CIE update. Motion by Commissioner Nix. Second. Seconded by Commissioner Satterfield. Discussion. Hearing none, please vote. And that's approved 4-0. Last item under new business is the resolution of acceptance of the CARES Act funding for Dawson County and you'll be voting to accept the entire one point, whatever it was, million, uh, 1.1 something million, if you so desire. 
Any other information needed? Motions. Motion to approve. Motion by Commissioner Satterfield. Seconded by Commissioner Gaines. Discussion. Hearing none, please vote. And that is approved 4 0. No one signed up for public comment in this section? No, sir. And with that, uh, we have another meeting at six o'clock, a special call meeting in reference to the uh, uh, millage rate. Uh, we do have time for executive session between now and then, so I'll take a motion to go into executive session for what particular area? Litigation. Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Litigation personnel, no vote coming out of it. No. So moved. Motion to go in executive session for litigation personnel by Commissioner Gaines. Second. Seconded by Commissioner Nix. Discussion. Hearing none, please vote. And that is approved to go in executive session 4 0. We'll take a couple of minutes and then we will meet in executive session and we will stay in here. So we will ask. Everyone who's here, they will. Right, I'm going to make y'all copies. We do invite you back at six o'clock for a special call meeting in reference to the millage rate and property tax. <laughs> <laughs>